Oh, right, 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 right. We have another absolute legend of the game. Love the Beavs is trying the Celtic men at arm. Huang Rush? It takes some serious guts to do a Huang Rush at 950 ELO. Honestly, I don't dare doing the Huang Rush. I think I tried it once back when I was 1200 ELO on ranked, and I got absolutely smashed when trying to do it. I'm not very good with my militia. I often lose them early on. Then I'm not able to full wall fast enough, and by the time I get the knights and the monks and the stuff out, the push is easily stopped. I'm very curious to see what kind of a build order Love the Beeves goes for over here. It looks like a standard six on food, four on wood, and then probably just food, 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 food. Uh, I wonder at what point he is going to add the barracks. Is that now? Now is the barracks that has been added. Why is the Drush so important in the Huang Rush. Well, the Drush is super important because it allows you to full wall your base. Actually, this is kind of an awkward full walling base. Oh, wait. Actually, I say that, but this is a beautiful wood line, especially with the new map. Yeah, because he needs that main gold over here. It could actually just wall like this. I think that's probably the way to go about it. This is where planning is really, really important and where scouting is important as well. Okay, I don't think this was necessary. I think it's actually about the same distance to go to the edge here and if you go to the edge here the benefit is that if he goes for archers he won't be able to get harassed did opt to go for some additional straggler trees where is the drush no drush um how i feel about these walls i don't hate them they're not terrible but once again Look, look at look at these walls over here. This could have been four walls down this way. And that way, archers will not be able to harass you. What? Why is there an archery range? Is it for defensive skirmishers? Actually, I see Huang go for defensive skirmishers quite frequently in his plays. Man, the stuff that you can get away with sometimes. Neither player opting for any aggression once, however, very happy to just go to Castle Edge. You gotta be expecting Ethiopians to go for archers, and indeed, we see two archery range production from his opponent. Scorpions is going to be a wonderful, wonderful counter to this, and there is the stable. I don't feel like he needed the archer range so much. And I also feel like this is exactly what you should be avoiding and why these walls should have been placed back a little bit. I mean, he can actually just put another little wall over here. I think that's totally fine. Has reached Castle Age now. Uh, going to opt to retreat his army to make sure that it stays alive. Now, what Huang does is he actually brings forward two villagers and drops a forward siege workshop with a monastery. We'll see if bees will do the same. Look at Red's base. Really nice, small, compact base. Beeves' base actually looks like a small chupacabra. Uh, for lack of a better word. That's a lot of knights that he's bringing out. I think you bring these back a little bit. Also, I do not like the position on this um, siege workshop because he can spot it. If you build it over here and you build a whole bunch of scorpions or mangoes or whatever you so choose to do, double! Double! Oh my goodness! I think the monastery would have been a nice addition as well. I know I'm I'm nitpicking over here, uh, not opting to make any additional villagers, just making additional knights at this point. This is an all-in play, and I know I'm kind of like, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. No, respect for even trying this, making the counter units to the knights, but now the scorpions are going to be huge 
in dealing with all of those archers. These knights could potentially just run in and start raiding things, especially once those archers go down. Huge hit by the mango over here. I need to slow down this action. There's too much going on. I think if you just add a monastery instead of a second siege workshop, that goal is going to start working for you in a huge way. What you can then do is you can run in with your knights and heal them up continuously. Kind of run in, run back, run in, run back, run in, run back. Once they have lost a whole bunch of HP. And that is massive. Now he's never going to have the wood required. I'm also a little bit curious why he brought five villagers forward rather than just two. I think two is a bucks a plenty because you can construct your buildings with that. You can repair the necessary stuff. I mean, considering that he only has 30 villagers over here, five villagers being forward, yeah, you can construct the houses and whatnot, but he's never going to get popped. He already has houses for days. He can make 30 additional population. There is no need for these five villagers to be here, is my one criticism. Obviously, this is like one of his earlier attempts, so he's only going to streamline this and make it better. His opponent, on the other hand, might actually get housed at a certain point. He's three away without ATC, and I think he just simply doesn't know how to deal with this push, and GG is indeed called. Wow, that was epic. Did he use the market there to, um, he must have used the market there to a certain extent. Yes, yeah, so a couple of small criticisms here. What did the archery range do? The archery range did not do anything. I understand why the archery range was a thing. The base could have been walled to the edge, thus protecting the wood line better and the berries from being harassed. And monastery instead of siege workshop. Things that he did absolutely amazingly. Relatively fast castle, if I am not mistaken. Seventeen oh eight with walls. That's not terrible in my opinion. Clear build order. Clear goal in mind get to castle as fast as possible get as many knights as you can afford which seven is quite a high quantity have tons and tons of scorps i think another thing that he could have done instead of adding all of these scorps is add like one ram because celtic rams also benefit from the bonus and then with that you can just start ramming down uh these ranges ram down the barracks and that puts another level of pressure on him. He would actually get housed as well. Uh, I guess this is another criticism over here. Is only two forward. These guys didn't all have to come forward. And even though his opponent is obviously not just eco-focused. or Sorry, uh, just military focused. He's also eco-focused. He wants to play a normal game. Two. Two is the difference. Applying pressure, especially at lower elos, can be a very, very powerful tool. Okay. Love the Beast is watching my... He's like, I disagree with your walling criticism. Uh, no, I understand for skirms. Five fills because I was afraid of feudal army units. Makes sense, but you have the... I mean, look, I don't think any of the decisions were horrible or were bad in a significant way. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. Age of Empires is all about, and I think Beavis has learned this over time, is all about feeling your gut and doing what you think is best, sticking with that decision. And if somebody tells you, Oh, well, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't run underneath the TC and smack it down with villagers. Well, F, dude. I just made it happen. I just made it work. Doesn't matter what you have to say. I am going to meme my freaking heart out and pull out the W. That 
is what you should do. Um, yeah, Archer range because you assume that he would push faster. Fair enough. Archer pushes actually are quite slow. And since you do have all of that stone in the bank, instead of making that archery range, I would suggest putting a tower on the most essential spot. That's why I was saying, okay, so listen, listen to this criticism. Once again, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to hear it or not. I think what you do here, and obviously it's very easy to say after the game, you know, is what it is. But if you wall to the edge here, right, you have that stone, which by the way, you could have sold, but you could also just drop a tower right here. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful tower position. It protects the gold. It protects the wood. I don't know. I don't know. Great game. Absolutely wonderful to watch as well. I would want more of you to Huang. That's for sure. Don't let your memes be dreams. Keep walking. You can do it.